The 1983 Cricket World Cup, officially the Prudential Cup 83, was the third edition of the Cricket World Cup tournament. It was held from 9 June to 25 June 1983 in England and Wales and was won by India. Eight countries participated in the event. The 1983 World Cup was full of dramatic cricket all through the tournament. Teams like India and Zimbabwe who were not playing well during those times scored upset victories over the West Indies and Australia respectively. England, Pakistan, India and tournament favourites West Indies qualified for the semi-finals. The preliminary matches were played in two groups of four teams each, and each country played the others in its group twice. The top two teams in each group qualified for the semi-finals. The matches consisted of 60 overs per innings and were played in traditional white clothing and with red balls. They were all played during the day. Format The format of the 1983 World Cup was two groups of four teams, each team playing each other twice. The top two teams from each group then advanced to the semi-finals with the winners further advancing to the finals. Every game was of 60 overs with all-day matches. Participants The following eight teams qualified for the final tournament seven full ICC members including recently appointed full member Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe who qualified by winning the 1982 ICC trophy. Venues <inaudible> 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 Topic Squads Topic Group Stage Topic Group A Topic Group B Topic Knockout Stage Topic Semi Finals In the first semi final, at Old Trafford on the twenty second of June, England won the toss and elected to bat. The English batsmen mistimed many balls and used the bat's edge frequently, as the restrictive Indian bowling led England to score 213 all out, 60 overs. Graham Fowler 33 from 59 balls, three fours top scored, and Kapil Dev took three for 35 in 11 overs, with Mahinda Amarnat and Roger Binney taking two wickets each. In reply, Yashpal Sharma, 61 from 115 balls, three fours, two sixes, and Sandeep Patil, 51 from 32 balls, eight fours, made half centuries as India reached their target in 54.4 overs, winning by six wickets in a classic victory over the previous tournament's runners-up. Mahinda Amarnat, 46 from 92 balls, four fours, one six, picked up the Man of the Match award for his all-round performance, which saw him add 46 runs to his earlier bowling success, two twenty-sevenths in 12 overs. The second semi-final between Pakistan and the West Indies was staged at the Oval on the same day. West Indies won the toss and invited Pakistan to bat, whom they restricted to just 184 8 wickets, 60 overs. Mohsen Khan 70 from 176 balls, 1-4 fought his way past 50 against the superb West Indies bowling he was the only Pakistani batsman to reach 50. 
Malcolm Marshall and Andy Roberts starred with the ball. The West Indies innings was based around a superb innings by Viv Richards 80 from 96 balls, 11 fours, 1 six, who took the Man of the Match award, and an unbeaten half-century by Larry Gomez 50 from 100 balls, 3 fours, as the defending champions reached their target for the loss of just two wickets. Topic Final In the final, India lost the toss and were asked to bat first against a West Indies team that arguably boasted the world's best bowling attack. Only Krishnamachari Srikanth 38 from 57 balls and Mahinda Amanat 26 from 80 balls put up any significant resistance as Roberts, Marshall, Joel Garner and Michael Holding ripped through the Indian batsmen, ably supported by Gomez. Surprising resistance by the tail allowed India to compile 183 all out, 54.4 overs. When Indian chips were down Kapil Dev said, "'Team if this is not a winning total it's definitely a fighting total.'" One of the popular quotes of all time. However, the Indian bowling exploited the weather and pitch conditions perfectly to bowl out the best batting lineup of the era for 140 from 52 overs in return, winning by 43 runs and completing one of the most stunning upsets in cricket history. Amanat and Madan Lal each took three wickets, and one memorable moment was the sight of Kapil Dev running about 20 yards 18 meters to take a catch to dismiss Richards, the West Indies top scorer with 33 from 28 balls. Amanat was the most economical bowler, conceding just 12 runs from his seven overs, while taking three wickets, and was once again awarded the Man of the Match award for his all round performance. There was no man of the series awarded in 1983. Equals equals statistics. <laughs>